Isn't COVID-19 usually mild in children? So why do they need a vaccine? COVID infection is mild in children in the most part, and many experience no symptoms at all. But between one to 2% of children may need admission to hospital, and about one in 3,200 children can develop the more severe multi-system inflammatory syndrome. And a smaller proportion of children may develop chronic or lingering symptoms called long COVID. There are also indirect benefits for vaccinating kids, reducing transmission in the community and in the household, particularly to vulnerable household members, and also in the school setting. Vaccinating kids enables them to get back to their lives with the least disruption so that they can enjoy school, their social activities and their sporting activities, which is really important for their mental health and well-being. How do we know that COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective in children? The Pfizer vaccine clinical trial in primary school age children showed that kids develop a really robust immune response and that they had over 90% protection against symptomatic infection. There were also no vaccine safety concerns with the common and expected side effects such as a sore arm, headache, fatigue occurring less commonly than in teenagers and young adults and there were no serious adverse events. Since then, millions of children have received the Pfizer vaccine in the United States and Canada and other countries internationally. And again, there have been no vaccine safety concerns. How do I know the COVID-19 vaccine won't harm children in the long term? The COVID-19 vaccines in children undergo extensive vaccine safety monitoring. We know that there are common and expected side effects that occur in the first one to two days and any rarer or more serious side effects occur in the first six to eight weeks after a vaccine dose. And here in Australia, we have a very robust vaccine safety surveillance system that will continue to monitor for more serious and rare side effects in that first one to two month after the vaccine doses long term for one, two and more years. So we can reassure parents that we will pick up any serious but rare adverse events. Will I get the same dose of vaccine as my parents? No, kids will receive a lower dose than their parents. They'll receive one third of the dose, which is 10 micrograms, and their parents will receive 30 micrograms. And the recommendation is for two doses, eight weeks apart, although that may be reviewed and the interval shortened, for example, in an outbreak setting, or if the child is going to travel internationally or is at higher risk of COVID infection. Where can I find out more reliable information about COVID-19 vaccines and children? Reliable information on the COVID-19 vaccines for children is available on the Commonwealth and State Department of Health websites, as well as through the National Centre for Immunisation Research and Surveillance. There are also specific translated resources for different cultural groups, easy read resources and decision aids that can help parents really weigh up the risks and the benefits of vaccination for their children.